Welcome to my channel. Today I just want to give you some of the tips on uh, how you can uh, repair your laptop or desktop computer. You may be having your computer and uh, you are wondering how you can be able to repair your computer for yourself without taking it somewhere. So if you have um, either laptop or desktop, follow this video to the end so that you can be able to discover more. And I'm going to start with the desktop computer. What are the things which normally affect desktop computers? Number one, power supply. So if your computer has a faulty power supply, you are supposed to replace that power supply and then you try to restart the machine. If the problem uh, is not solved, then you are supposed to think of number two, which is memory. Um, of the computer and uh, hard disk so these things normally affect your machine so if your memory has a problem in this case you are supposed to remove those memory within um, I mean from your machine and then uh, try to clean them and uh, you get a blower blow within those memory um, slots then try to insert those memories one by one and then from there you'll be able to discover which kind of memory has a fault. And uh, on the issue of uh, hard disk, it means that uh, sometimes those hard disks can make your computer not work because if the hard disk which has a operating system has uh, failed, which means that the computer will not work. And for this case, you're supposed to look for a hard disk and then uh, try to um, start your machine with another new hard disk to find out if the problem is the hard disk. Number two is try to check what we call microprocessor. So desktop sometimes can be affected by this. So if you have been using machine for quite a good time, this microprocessor normally can uh, uh, create some problems uh, in terms of um, failing to function. So in this case, you are supposed to remove that microprocessor and then replace it with the same uh, kind of microprocessor, the new one, and then try to restart the machine. If the machine is working, it means that the problem was a microprocessor. And if the machine is not working, it means that um, it could be something else. And uh, for this case, you are supposed to consider uh, checking the motherboard. Sometimes the capacitors within the motherboard normally swell. So in this case, if you find that the capacitor has swollen in uh, within the, the motherboard, you are supposed to remove that capacitor and then you replace it with the good capacitor. So once this is done, it means that now you can be able to use your machine. And if the problem does not uh, get solved, which means you are supposed to think of uh, blowing uh, the whole machine, that is number five. Try to blow uh, your machine thorough blow every area all the vents try to blow maybe it could be because of dust uh, start with the um, uh, power supply blow the power supply the motherboard and also the the the, the whole uh, system unit try to blow it so that it becomes clean and then try to restart your machine try to start the machine and then from there you will be able to discover if the problem was because of dust. So you are supposed to do that. And then maybe to add on, uh, on the issue of this, you are supposed to check the start button. Sometimes um, it can be a failure of uh, the start button. So if the start button has it pressed itself on the, on the machine, it means that it will keep starting the machine and shutting it down like that. So you are supposed to consider replacing the button for the start so if all those things that i have mentioned are not working for you which means you are supposed to take your machine to the technician to repair it for you and now let us talk about laptop computers what are the uh, things which normally affect all the laptop computers majorly so you are supposed to think about this number one the chargers this laptop sometimes can fail because of chargers. So if a charger is not working, it means that it will not power in uh, the the current to, to the what to the to the laptop. And for this case, supposed to consider changing the uh, the charger of the what of the laptop. 
So if you have no money of buying another charger, which means you are supposed to look for a machine which has the same charger like that one of yours, try to check it with it. If the charger is working, the, the one that you have brought is working, which means the problem is the charger. Number two on the on the issue of laptops is about this we are battery. So sometimes the battery can be faulty. So in this case, try to remove the battery and then reinstart it again. And if the battery is the the reason why, maybe the battery has failed, it has uh, broken down. You are supposed to buy another battery and then put it there. Or sometimes you can make it you can make it run as if it is a desktop then from there you'll discover if the problem was a battery or it is just um, another problem so try to check on the issue of uh, battery and uh, if the problem still persists you are supposed to check something else which is uh, memory sometimes memories of laptops can fail so in this case you're supposed to remove the memory if it has to remove one and keep inserting one by one and uh, you find out which is the memory bringing your machine down and uh, you are supposed again to check on the issue of fan of the fan so if the fan has stopped working it means that the laptop will heat it will heat so much it will overheat and uh, because of this it will keep starting and then shutting itself down so for this case try to check the fan if the fan is working and uh, the machine is not working it means that um, the problem could be um, the processor so try to check the processor of your uh, laptop computer so if all the things that you have checked are okay and still your machine is not working again try to look at the hard disk or the operating system if the operating system has a fault and if you have been using your laptop and uh, it all of a sudden it shuts down and it fails to start again it means that uh, it could be maybe the, the motherboard is affected and uh, if you know that uh, your laptop is not working and uh, you cannot repair it yourself then try to think of a technician or sometimes you can also check the keyboard sometimes with this keyboard if it if it has a key which is pressing itself so you find that it will interrupt your uh, laptop so for this case you are supposed to remove that keyboard and if you cannot remove it for yourself then look for somebody who is well versed with the laptops so that your laptop will get repaired so those things that I have mentioned, I have mentioned, are the one, uh, are the ones which actually affect the machines so heavily. So, for this case, um, you are supposed to diagnose yourself. Then, if the problem doesn't work, which means you have to look for somebody superior, somebody who is well um, advanced in this computer repair so that your machine will come back to life so guys i just uh, felt like sharing this information with you so that maybe it can help somebody somewhere so thank you so much for watching this video please consider to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video